Welcome tonight to the hobo and his girlfriend. Where'd my girlfriend go? Well, that's right. It's kind of late. So my girlfriend went to bed. She's, she's a good wrestling fan, not a super wrestling fan like me. There's my cat, the hobo cat Chispa. And I'm here to talk a little bit about Lucha, Lucha Underground. Again, please like, share, and subscribe. And we're not quite yet at 10 viewers for our perfect 10 pizza party. We're still stuck at 9. Again, we have that perfect 10. We'll have that perfect 10 pizza party in your honor. Again, you choose the pizza 10 subscriber. You shall have that. And let's talk about some Lucha Underground. Lucha Underground. Again, please like, share, and subscribe. But this was, again, a really f fun, quick feeling, good movement ca card. It was a good show. Again, the opening, they always do a little recap. Talk about Katrina, Phoenix, and Melissa, Melissa Santos. Because Melissa Santos and Phoenix were a couple. Again, Katrina needed Phoenix's anima or spirit in, in order to go back to the land of the living, I guess. Again, Vampiro and Matt, Stry Matt Stryker are amazing. They should be every commentary team ever. So let's get to our first match. First match, we feature, we feature Big Bad Steve versus We the People. Jake Strong, or is it this side? I forget what. One of the two. And yeah, this was kind of a, a very quick squash match. But again, for being a squash match, it did uh, get a cheeseburger reading. Mm, very hard to screw up cheeseburgers, folks. And it was a it was a fun match. And really, just brawling. Made this point again. Fast squash match. It was fun. Is what it should be. And I do apologize. This is going to be a kind of short video. Not much to show. I think I came back, videotaped some of it, kind of watched it quickly. Only saw the one life match. So there's only the one video for everyone. Lucha Underground is normally pretty good. Second match. <sighs> this was a filet mignon. And this is a way the WWE should do intergender matches because this feature, featured Daga versus Cobra Moon, or Daga and Cobra Moon. Again, it is a red wine Friday. Have your pizza, have some red wine. It's all good. So we had Daga versus Cobra Moon versus Johnny Mundo and Taya. This was amazing. WWE followed this. They had the opening start with Taya and Daga. It was pure technical wrestling. Nothing squeamish, nothing weird. Not nothing that made you feel ew. I mean, it was it wasn't it wasn't the WWE Attitude Era. Ooh, we're gonna have a bikini match. Female wrestling about. And it wasn't the, the Asuka versus Suzuki slap fest. This is exactly what it should be. WWE, take notes. Mind blown. I mean, it was amazing. I does have the big booty. Though. And my girlfriend has a perfect booty. Pia has a big booty. Yeah, this was fun, though. This was good. And Taya squares off with Dago, and that makes it fun. And it's a technical match. It makes it feel like a real wrestling competition. Again, and then they both tagged out to their respective partners. Cobra Moon came in versus Johnny Mundo. Again, super technical match. Oh, mind blown. If WWE did this, it would be amazing. New Japan should never do this. But again, that was so much fun. Again, it was very good. Um, with this, 
uh, PJ Black did, did come out. Again, you have the numbers game with the Worldwide Underground. So, Taya and Johnny no won. They had a flaming yawn match. This was amazing. Um, then you had the beatdown by Venema. Again, kind, kind of a moss person of the reptile tribe. I know this all has to do with, for the most part, um, Mexican or, more properly, Mesoamerican folklore. And it's fun, though. I mean, you might actually learn something. Who knows? Man, this was really good. And Ty can take a bump. That's impressive. But our next match, we had a sacrifice of the gods, and the gods match was Mr. Spectacular versus the Monster Matanza. And, I mean, if this is a low point, I think the match lasted all of, I think, three minutes. And just because of that, the heck is this? This is a ham sandwich. This is the first ham sandwich I've given Lucha Underground in a very long time. But again, it was, it was okay. It was a quick squash match. It was a sacrifice. Mr. Spectacular got in one drop kick, I think. And that was Matanza. You had Undertaker-ish effects. Hey, it is what it was. Yeah, that's why he gets the ham sandwich. Then we have our main event. And again, this was all preceded by a promo by Cage and Cuerno, where they each get a shot at the Aztec medallion, which is, again, kind of the money in the briefcase, but you have to earn your way into the match. And I like that. It's a semi-tournament. Tournaments are... Because this is Lucha Underground, it's muy bueno. And it's En Fuego. And you have Chavo Guerrero Jr. Amazing. Versus King Cuerno. Mind blown. Another filet mignon type of a match. It was amazing. It was good. I mean, Chavo does Chavo. And he's such a deal. He learned so much from from Uncle Eddie. I mean, stole some of his moves, and it's really, it's, it's really good to watch. King Quino. Again, in this aspect, it's a very traditional face, but a Tenico, he refuses to use the chair, which is always a good thing. Whereas Chavo just tries to wail on him with a chair in the very the very heel or Rudo pattern. And it was really good. I mean, both wrestlers. Oh, it was fun. An action packed fast. <laughs> Chavo pulls tries to pull a Yano by taking off. The top turnbuckle by the referee goes, ah, 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 you better watch that, Chavo. Doesn't end the match, which is good. I don't think it came into play, actually. But again, this was always that threat. And sometimes it's just the anticipation or the fact that it might happen. That's good enough. Then you have Chance. Um, when Chavo does the triple flex, almost, and then you just hear Eddie, Eddie. Oh, and in, oh, and I forgot to mention this, but in the ta Tanya and Mundo, there was the chant of Lucha Dora. Always a good sign. But again, back again, the crowd was chanting Eddie, Eddie, and it just shows that this is a really good crowd. They're really knowledgeable. They're here really for the wrestling, which I can't say about some other shows. Some other shows are like, yeah, yeah, this is a fun thing to do. This is this is a, wrestling's a side show, but here the re the fans are here for the wrestling. They understand the whole culture of wrestling, especially the Mexican style kind of lucha libre wrestling. 
Oh, they eat it up. Right. Um, again, then Lucia Underground is now evolving. They're showing a lot more strong style, I guess. More strikes are involved versus pure Lucha 15 spot moves. Again, it was really great. And again, they did two moves that the WWE really should allow. I, I can somewhat understand why not, especially with the WWE schedule. But King Cueno has a package tombstone pile driver. I thought the pile driver was my favorite move. Then I saw the package pile driver. Then I saw the second row pile driver. Then I saw the package tombstone pile driver. Ooh, yeah. King Cueno wins. And gets a Aztec medallion. And yeah, the smash was really fun. It was action packed. It was good. I only do have the one video, but hopefully it'll be good enough. Again, yeah, I liked it. Again, this is a kind of a short video. My girlfriend's kind of in the other bedroom asleep. She's kind of tired. The Fourth of July week. Exhausted. I'm exhausted. I have stuff to the body too. So I cut this video short. I will leave you with again that one video I showed you from the Cuerno Guerrero match. Again, I would like to thank everyone for liking, subscribing. My only thing is, if you have a dislike, I think two people have disliked me so far. Leave a comment. Tell me why you dislike me. You're a fat hobo, hobo Tom. That's why I dislike you. More girlfriend, less hobo. If that's your, if that's your right, hey, I can live with that. Oh, I would like this in the background. I don't like that in the background. Eventually, I will put up background shots. Eventually. You're scratching your face too much, you hobo. Well, I've had a long day and it's just kind of itched some places. Again, I would like to thank everyone for watching, even if you do dislike. Again, please like, share, and subscribe. Again, when we have our 10 subscribers, we have our perfect 10 pizza party. I still have to make my two other characters. Um, Evil Tom and Old Tom. 
and I might do that tomorrow. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how things go. Tomorrow's going to be kind of weird. We're going to see Ant-Man and The Wasp. Again, it should be fun. It should be a fun date night movie. Again, wrestling fans out there, you have to treat your girlfriend right, take her out to a date night movie. Again, because it's Lucha Underground. Muy bueno. Again, thank everyone. I'd like to thank everyone. Again, also feel free to leave an email at hobo and girlfriend at gmail.com. Take care, folks. I hope everyone had a good, fun, safe 4th of July, and hopefully everyone has all their fingers still intact from fireworks. Take care. Bye.